All About Boats is proudly brought to you by Aussie Boat Loans. Real people, real results. Wayne Ritchie's, Australia's leading retailer of water sports equipment. And Regal Marine, providing quality service and boats to the boating and leisure industry. Join us this week as we bring you the latest boat releases, handy boating tips and lots of new and innovative boating accessories on the market. It's all aboard, above and below on All About Boats. My top 10 reasons to go boating. Not in any particular order, but boating improves the quality of your life. Untie your boat from the dock, sail away and leave all your worries behind. It gives you a fresh perspective of things, gives you the ability to move away from the past and move into the present. The present is being on the water, enjoying quality time. Boating is an affordable recreation alternative. It's not as expensive as most would think. Whether it's a canoe, a simple titty or any one of these, boating is an affordable way to get on the water. Boating is far more accessible than you would imagine. Rivers, streams, ocean or the bays. Most Australians live within 50 kilometres of a major waterway. And remember, seven of our capital cities are right on the coastline. Australia's an island, we're surrounded by water. Boating helps you bond with your family and friends. A recent US study suggested that boating, fishing and cruising were rated as the top three ways to connect with people. It's actually not about the boat, but more about that later. Boating helps reduce stress can't help stressing statistics enough. A recent study in the US suggested that a little bit of fun every day and boating was rated in the top three activities will help you reduce stress and live a better quality life. Boating is really convenient. As I mentioned earlier, 85% of Australians live within a 50 kilometre radius of a boat ramp. It's easy to get to. That means you're gonna get fresh air sooner and going boating is like having a mini holiday. Boating is both engaging and rewarding. What a wonderful opportunity for personal development and growth. Imagine this, teaching a youngster how to fish, teaching them the responsibility of looking after a boat and planning a voyage. What a great level of life skills we're imparting to our youth. Boating offers great exercise. Imagine water skiing, catching a fish and hauling it over the side, or even just a rigorous day out sailing on the water. We're breathing the fresh air and we're in the outdoors. Doesn't get any better than that. Recreational boating is easy to learn. Buying from an accredited dealer, you'll get lessons. And those lessons bring the entire family along and teach everybody how to be the skipper of a boat. And boating education is everywhere. Go to your next boat show and sit down and watch some of those terrific speakers. Spread the love and spread the information about how easy boating is. Lastly, and by no means least, boating is fun. With so many activities, there's something there for everybody to enjoy. It's not about the boat, and I want you to consider this idea. Let me float it with you. It's about getting mums and dads together, spending quality time with the kids, teaching them how to water ski or how to fish. It's about getting the partners involved in the exercise, not just from the sideline, but to actually participate. It's about getting the kids off the computer and into the wonderful outdoors, breathing in all of this terrific fresh air, teaching them important life skills like planning and responsibility. But by no means least, it's about getting the blokes together or the ladies together to catch the one that last time got away. It's about the blokes getting together to talk about men's stuff, and we know how good that is for men's health. It's about having the partners involved in the exercise so they too can enjoy interaction. It's not about the boat, it's about all those other things. It's about reconnecting. Time to check out the latest boat releases in the boatyard. This is the Bayliner 175 Bow Rider. It is by far the most popular boat in the Bayliner range and has been the biggest selling boat in Bayliner's range for 10 consecutive years. One of the things that Bayliner do really well is their gel coat. Their gel coat on the side of the boat is premium buff back gel coat which means it will always have this shine and luster on the boat. They also put the black colour in the actual gel coat, it's not painted on later. So if you scratch it, it's black, not white underneath. That's going to keep your investment looking great for longer. 
The Bayliner 175 is powered by the Mercruiser 3 litre 135 horsepower engine. This engine has been tried and proven over many years. It has power steering which is going to make it really easy to drive. We also have some sound insulation in the box here to keep it very, very quiet, which is really what your family wants and very good on fuel. One thing Bayliner have always been really proud of is their beam forward design, which means they make their boats a little bit wider further forward. That gives you more interior space inside the boat and a little bit more room to put all your goodies and obviously more seats. That's a real feature when you're spending all day in the boat. In your new Bayliner 175, a couple of things are quite new. We have a tilt adjustable steering column, which again, just makes it easier to adjust it to your own comfort level. We have a safety glass windscreen. It's not plastic, so it's not gonna scratch. The windscreen position makes sure the wind's out of your eyes while you're driving the boat. And we have a non-glare finish around two large gauges, so everything is at a glance. Again, makes it easy. This one is the 185 bow rider from Bayliner. It's really the big sister to the 175. If you're looking for a little bit more space and certainly more performance, this is the one you really want to have a look at. One thing about the 185 is it does have some gel coat colour options. So you can get different colours in the side and this one's got the sports graphics. It also has the stainless steel trim running down the gunnel, which again, just gives that little bit of bling that you're looking for. This Bayliner 185 is equipped with the platform extension, so you get, get an extra two feet of platform, which makes it really easy for water sports. You've also got a three-stage ladder. See how deep that goes? There's three steps, so again, making it really easy to get in and out of the boat. One good thing about the 185 is it has very versatile seating options. These rear seats actually lift out and go into a higher position, so you can actually create a sun pad across the back here. So if someone wants to lie down and have a rest after that long ski, very comfortable. This sun lounger seat is a really, really popular feature with the ladies. I'll show you why. You can just actually fold the seat down and relax. In the new 185 Bayliner, it's got a great ski locker here so you can put your skis or any big items under the floor. Great for storage. It also has lift out carpet. So you can take all the carpet off, easy to clean. This is a new concept from Bayliner. It's called the Element Series. They make it in a 16 footer and an 18 footer. This one here is the 18 XL with the sports pack. Let's have a look inside. The concept behind the Element Series was really to get entry level boaters into boating with something that's really, really easy to drive. The new M hole makes this boat incredibly stable and it planes really fast. Even when you're turning this boat, it turns very flat. The other idea was to get lots of people in the boat. Licensed to carry nine people, you can sit anywhere in the boat and have a conversation with your friends. Now, have you ever dreamed of winning the lottery and cruising the crystal clear waters of Fiji on board your very own luxury private vessel? Well, you don't have to be a gazillionaire to live the dream because Adrenaline Fiji offers luxury cruising on board the spectacular Belmare, the Opulence and the Riviera. And we are gonna get to know them all right now. Neil, this is an absolutely amazing setting here at the Port Dinaral Marina. The boat is spectacular. Tell us a little bit about the Belmare. Belmare, it's a uh, New Zealand built boat. Uh, it's 87 feet long or 26 and a half metres. Well, tell me about the charters that the boat does. So you've got private charters and also scheduled day cruises. Okay, yes, we, we call them day cruises. Uh, we do a per head uh, day cruise up to uh, 35, 45 people. We try to make two stops, weather, weather dependent. Two stops, uh, a sand key, then across to uh, Bounty Island um, for the remainder of the day, lunch underway typically. Both locations, we do snorkeling, swimming, and we have a uh, jet ski, which is a very popular option on, on this vessel. Of course, the whole vessel is um, air conditioned for uh, passenger comfort. Now, you can actually charter the boat for private charters. Cer cer certainly, we, we do the same thing uh, for, uh, for large groups, group bookings exclusively to that group. Uh, and we offer the same thing. We offer gourmet lunch in both of those cases. And we also offer uh, uh, alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages. And how many can the boat sleep overnight? 
overnight uh, comfortably uh, three couples, uh, six people, but we are licensed for 10. Now I know that you're the captain of the Belmare, but we also have the Opulence in the Riviera with us today. Tell us a little bit about those boats. Right, so the next, in terms of size, the next uh, boat down from Belmare is Opulence. It's a 51 foot um, luxury fishing slash private charter vessel can take up to uh, 18 people by day and uh, six people uh, overnight. Next one down in terms of size and that's 30, 36 feet um, and that's just a nice seven person luxury cruising vessel for around this area. And that's the Riviera? That's correct. Fantastic. Well look, I know you're a busy man. Thank you so much for taking the time to show us around. We really appreciate it on board the spectacular Belmare. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. G'day there, my name is Greg Walker, the General Manager at JV Marine, and today I'm going to show you through the Quintrex 490 Fishabout. Okay, these boats are an iconic boat in the Australian boating history. The 480 to 490 size is by far the most popular boats in the range, and the Quintrex brand, of course, has been number one for so many years we've lost count. This particular boat is fitted with an E-Tech 90 horsepower, which is the ideal combination. Features a stainless steel propeller, no servicing for three years and a full five year warranty. It is absolutely hassle free, worry free boating. People often ask me, why Quintrex? What makes them so special? It's a very simple answer, their hull designs. Let me show you. Down the bottom here, Quintrex run what is called a blade hull. In layman's terms how it works is, as you can see the front here has a very, very sharp entry into the water. That gives you a soft ride and it gives you a controlled ride. As the hull goes down towards the back, however, it comes into some flat surfaces and that enables the boat to be very, very stable at rest, something that no other manufacturer has been able to achieve. In conjunction with the blade hull, however, Quintrex also run a full flare. Now this has the added advantage, especially in the deeper seas, of the water coming up and spreading out here not running back over your screen or into the boat. And also, as a consequence of that, the curve is incredibly strong. One of the features about this boat that I love is the walkthrough screen. Let me show you. Screen opens up, this opens up, you're right at the anchor. Makes pulling and dropping the anchor a breeze. No matter what engine combination you choose for your 490 Quintrex, it'll come with this aluminium trailer. It's built by Quintrex, it's lightweight, it's designed to fit the boat, and it's very, very easy to drive your boat on and off. Although this boat is only 4.9 metres long, have a look at the room in it. It's massive. You've got fishing room, you've got room to sit three passengers across the back, plus another one here. You're not gonna be cramped. The rear seat we can lift out and move up to the midships area, so you can actually sit on that seat, fishing to the back. Ideal, and again, family, fishing, it's perfect. It's time for some fun on the water as we talk all about water sports. G'day, I'm Shay from Wayne Richie's and today we're talking about buoyancy vests. To start off, we've got this entry level vest made from nylon. It's Australian standard approved. It has four easy to do up buckles, so it's really tight and supportive. The nylon repels the water and it's a nice, cheap entry level vest. So our next step up is a neoprene vest. Uh, neoprene is just a little bit more comfortable, it's stretchier so it moulds to your body a bit better. This jacket has two buckles so it's really quick to get in and out of. The colour is, is bright and easy to see in the water. So at the top end you've got this follow jacket. Uh, the follow jackets are really high quality, they, they use really good materials so really comfortable stretchy nylon. Uh, the panelling in the jacket, they have a side panel as well so it fits your body a bit better. Um, just a single single clip here, so it's really fast to get in and out of again. High quality zips and really cool designs, so you have a bit of style on the water. If you'd like more information on vests, visit our website or pop into one of our stores. It's a gorgeous early beach morning as we prepare for another day out and about on the water. People come from far and wide to sail through the Whit Sundays and Cruise Whit Sundays offer that experience here on board Camira. 
This opulent cruising vessel is a floating dream come true. The name has been derived from an Aboriginal term meaning of the wind, and once you feel the sea breeze whip through your hair as Kamira hits top speed, you'll understand why. The 85-foot luxury catamaran can reach speeds of up to 30 knots and stands as a testament to refined nautical engineering. All refreshments and a sumptuous barbecue lunch are included and the use of snorkeling gear and light wetsuits are also complimentary should you wish to take a dip at one of the beautiful inner reef sites. Striking purple watercraft slices effortlessly through cobalt waves en route to Whitsunday Island and the famous Whitehaven Beach. Here on Whitehaven Beach you can have any type of day that you want. You can find a nice quiet spot and enjoy the serenity or you can mingle with other travellers and get involved with some of the fun beach activities. G'day, I'm Ray Hedrell. This is my boat, it's a Riviera 565 SUV, boat number one. I uh, helped Riviera design this boat and uh, have had a lot of fun, been to Queensland. This is my fifth big boat, started with a 33, went to a 41, went to a 51, went to a 50, and here we are at a 565. My first introduction for boating was uh, I bought a little Pacer yacht, 12 foot, got becalmed one day and decided that was not for me, I had to have a motor. So from there we went to a Whitley Cherokee, then another 18 foot cuddy cab, and then we started on the big boats. Went right through and here I am now. This one's about 20 months old, got 500 hours on it. Been to Queensland, hope to head down to Tasmania in um, early February. And that's basically it. This boat here has been um, pretty much custom built to my, what I wanted. Um, I've had my uh, wife on board who wasn't all that keen on boating. Uh, this particular boat, she flew into um, flew into uh, Brisbane, and then we, uh, we travelled all the way up to Cairns. Had about ten days on the boat with my wife, which was very unusual. Seeing as how one of the boats I bought, I, I um, never told her I bought a boat. Got a little bit upset when she found out from some of my mates. <laughs> but that's what you do when you're in boating. If you need to get a boat, you've got to get a boat. <laughs> with this boat, I've been able to uh, enjoy the boat with all my friends and my family. Particularly my wife actually loves coming out on the boat now because of the position of the galley and the huge bedroom downstairs. Um, my family come out with me, I've got a daughter and a son. Um, daughter's got two grandkids, grandkids will come out on the boat, they love it. Come out here and um, we get out on the back of the boat where the platform drops down on the water and the kids can jump in and out of the water all they want. And um, have a really good time, it's a fun boat. It doesn't matter what you got, you know I started with a 12 foot pacer, a little yacht. Trouble is they um, didn't have a motor. <laughs> it wasn't very good at all, I could tell you when you get becalmed out there. But you work through the boats, and uh, when we went up to Queensland in this boat, we took it up to Queensland, we took two paddle boards with us. And every day, someone was on the paddle boards paddling around the, around the Whit Sundays up there. It was uh, absolutely fantastic. Five weeks at Hamilton Island. The whole family up there, I took the family and all friends. Had five different groups come through and use the boat all the time. You get to use the boat every day, sort of thing. And travelled all around the Whit Sundays. And the boating's just a fantastic family thing. You get your family on the boat, and there's no better place to be because there's not too far to go and you're all together. And it's a good uh, good time to, to, to get to know your family a little bit better because as they get, get older, they sort of drift away from you and you don't see them as much as you want to see them. So they all come down here and are keen to go out in the boat when we go out. So there you have it, more proof that life's better with a boat. Thinking about buying a boat and need finance? Here are some valuable tips from the experts at Aussie Boat Loans on budgeting for your new boat. Unless you're one of the super wealthy shopping for a maxi yacht, it's important to consider the amount you can comfortably afford to borrow and repay each month. Aussie Boat Loans Finance is structured between one and seven years, so you need to consider what your circumstances are likely to be during that time. 
Don't forget to also budget for the ongoing costs associated with owning your new boat, including fuel, maintenance, storage and berthing, and of course, the all-important insurance. Owning a boat is an amazing experience, and the first step is to do your homework on what you can comfortably afford. For more tips and advice, contact Aussie Boat Loans. Real people, real results. Call 1300 769 999 or visit the website. Well, that's all for another week of All About Boats. For more information on boating, simply visit our website at allaboutboats.tv or check out our Facebook page.